You're up. It's nice to see you feeling much better. Okay, no condition to be moving about. You've been unconscious for something now. Hello. Uh, about three weeks or so. Personally, I expected longer. You heal quite well for a young person. I have seen grown men die from much lesser injuries. You don't need a knife. I don't know who you are. I don't know you either. But I save your life. You were passed out in my house. If I wanted to hurt you, I would have just left you where I found you. I was hurt pretty bad. I thought I was dying. You were? How did you find me? I was walking through the woods. It was something my husband and I used to do all the time. I stopped when he passed. The day that I found you was the first time since. I don't know what moved me to go. I guess the Lord works in mysterious ways. You had me hooked up to something in there. Oh. That was a IV bag of saline to keep you hydrated with ABT, which is antibiotic there. It's help me fight off whatever infections I may get. What kind of antibiotic do you use? Cephalexin. Have you heard of it? Australian combat casualty care. Obviously. Who taught you? I don't remember. At least, who taught you? Taught you also how to fight? How do you know? Your knuckles were bruised when I found you. 
At least you give the son of a bitch who did this to you something to think about. <laughs> ah. You should go back to bed. I can't. Been down for too long already. You don't look military. Neither do you. You're going to look for the person who did this to you, aren't you? My husband was an old soldier. He was on an active duty when he died. Always searching for something, some form of closure for all the senseless loss that he had seen. Pain is nothing to hold on to. It stops you from living. Sometimes it's best to let go. I found this next to you. Don't use it to remind you of the pain you have suffered. Use it to remind you of the pain you've overcome. The person did this to me. He'll come looking for me. He might come here. It's okay. I think I can manage. Go with grace. Thank you. Hello. There was a woman who lived here years ago. She helped me. And I was just checking up on her. Hello? This woman, did she tell you something before you left? She said, go with Christ. Hello, it's you. Hello again. I was just fixing supper. Come in. I prayed for you that day, you know. Did you? That day, and every day, until now. Truthfully, I didn't want you to leave. I thought you weren't fully healed. But God took you in his arms and he protected you. Maybe. Don't say that. Whether you acknowledge him or not, God is always in control. You might be right. The day that you found me, the last thing I remember I was asking God not to let me die. <laughs> Is that so? I told you. He works in mysterious ways. Tell me. 
Did you ever find a person who hurt you? No. I came close, though. When you find him, what are you going to do? I don't know. Kill him, I guess. You should never be so cavalier talking about taking another life. Why don't you move on with yours? What do you mean? You find this man. You kill him. Then what? Pain is nothing to hold on to. It stops you from living. I wanted so badly to find a man who took my husband away from me and killed him. But when I realize his death would not bring back. Give me back the life that I have lost. It's pointless. Do you understand? just don't know anything else. Look. It's getting late. I should go. I don't. Please stay. The spare room where you woke up is ready. Still the night. Then get a fresh start. Think about what I have said. No knife this time? <laughs> Funny. <laughs> you shave. <should. laughs> I did. Now you look like somebody's child. Whatever. What is that that you're knitting? This is something for my very case. We'll be coming over later for dinner. Oh, shanks. What? I've got to go to the supermarket to get them some food. My grandson especially. He is such a finicky eater. Give me the list. I'll go get it for you. Don't be silly. You said you were leaving. Nothing. For all that you've done for me, the least I can go and do is pick you up some groceries. Uh, okay, if you insist.
cannot, Father. I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord. I'm sure she did. Whoa, their house. Let's be reasonable. Who are you? Put down the gun. I didn't have to let you know who I was. Okay, okay. I'm a friend. I don't know you. Do you know Edie? Well, I know Edie too. We all used to work together back in the day. Who's we? Her, me, and you. I told you, I don't know you. Your name is Deuce, which I always thought was a fucked up name, by the way. You don't know a damn thing about me. I know your noggin's not right. My what? Your brain, your memory, it's, it's all fucked up. Okay, okay. I sense some doubt. You see that woman lying there at your feet, bleeding? Same woman who saved your life? She meant something to you, didn't she? Yes. What was her name? <laughs> Hurts like hell when you try to remember, doesn't it? I can help you. How? Not here. First you gotta clean all this shit up. I didn't kill her. And I don't think- that Deuce, she's dead. And the genius who set up this room made sure the first person to find her would also be the primary suspect should law enforcement be involved. Looks like you trust through some blood there and disturbed the body. DNA and fingerprints everywhere. You gotta clean it up, bud. I'll come back when you're done. It's a shitty world, man. Sometimes innocent people die. Take my hand, precious Lord, lead me on, let me stand, I am tired. Is the 
Take my hand.